never let me go. Say you never let me go. Say you never. Let Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the fall favorites tag. I recently polled you guys on Twitter and on Instagram if you wanted to see this and a lot of you guys said yes. So here I am filming it again. I think this is the third time I filmed it for my channel and I just enjoy doing this every year because fall is my absolute favorite season and there's something just so cozy about it and I love watching what other people's fall favorites are. So this tag is really fun. I don't really do that many tags on my channel anymore. This is one that I think I will continue to do each year if you guys continue wanting to see it. So so without any further rambling, let's just get into it. I'm going to pull the questions up on my phone and I'm going to start answering all of the questions. All right, so the first question is, what is your favorite fall candle? So last year, I believe I said the Leaves candle from Bath & Body Works. It's still one of my absolute favorite candles. I also love the Autumn one, also from Bath & Body Works. But this year, I have a brand new favorite. It's back here. This is from the brand Rewind. I recently discovered this brand in Charleston, South Carolina, and they like to repurpose wine bottles and turn them into little candle holders. And they create completely soy candles, so they're healthier for you. And this one in particular is a seasonal scent called Spiked Cider. It smells phenomenal. It says that this fall favorite is sure to warm up those chilly evenings offering a rich blend of fresh apple cinnamon which I love anything cinnamon and it also has clove to finish it off we've spiked it with the deep buttery aroma of dark rum so all of their scents are infused with kind of sort of more liquor or just wine infused fragrances and this one in spike cider is pretty much fall in a candle it smells even better than leaves which is my number one favorite candle from bath and body works for this time of year i also love autumn but i like leaves just a little bit more because of the cinnamon and it's a little bit warmer this is even warmer this is even more cidery that's why it's probably called spike cider it smells amazing you can check out rewind on their website i picked this up when we were in charleston a couple weeks ago in south carolina and i am absolutely in love so the next question is what my favorite fall lip color is, and it's actually the one I'm wearing today. I recently started playing with this lip color. I've had it in my collection for a while. It's the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Mama, and it's the perfect autumn shade. It's like a pumpkin-y spiced orange that isn't too bright. It's a little bit warmer. It reminds me of Pumpkin from the Kylie Lip Cosmetics, except I don't have that, but it looks very similar, and this is only $6. It's very comfortable, super long wearing. So I highly recommend if you're looking for the perfect fall lip, check out ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lips, but especially this one in Mama. It's a really, really pretty kind of warm, spicy orange. I like wearing this with absolutely no makeup. I feel like it makes my face really look alive and as if I have makeup on even when I don't. I don't know what it is about this color, but I love it, and I thought I'd mention it today. So for favorite drink, I have to say, first of all, I like to use my little kitty cat mug. I picked this up. I think on Redbubble. I like having my Tazo pumpkin spice chai in here. It's a seasonal drink that Tazo makes in the little boxes that you combine with a milk. I like to use non-dairy milk, but you combine it with a milk product and then you create your own chai at home. I have a video showing you how I make the exact dupe to the Starbucks chai lattes from home for fraction of the price and right now during the season they've released the pumpkin spice one but it's pretty good i don't like it quite as much as the regular chai but because i have that year round i feel like the seasonal one is a little bit different it's a little bit warmer it has a lot of cinnamon just like the original and it has the ginger but it has pumpkin kind of pie spices to it possibly nutmeg and things like that and it's very it's very reminiscent of the autumn season. So for blush, I actually have two. The first one is the one I reach for, I think the last two or three years in a row. It's the Becca Cosmetics blush in Wild Honey. It's a really pretty warm orangey shade. Blends perfectly with makeup in the fall because it has that orangey vibe. Super pigmented, just like all of the Becca products are. I really love this shade. And then the Sephora Micro Smooth Duo Blush in Tangerine Teas is so creamy and buttery and pretty affordable from the Sephora line. It has two orangey shades. They both have a lot of sheen and shimmer but they're very finely milled sheens and shimmers so they don't look chunky or glittery on the skin apply easily blend out easily and i really like this line in general i think i have three or four other blushes from this same collection but tangerine teas beautiful orange pumpkiny perfect fall shades okay so for my favorite fall clothing item i have way too many i love boots i love sweaters i love jackets i love scarves but lately i've been about chunky knits like these that i kind of just roll up the sleeves i love lace details so that's my pick i have to wait till 
you know, the weather starts to cool down and it's cozy weather so I can put on my sweaters because otherwise, even in a long sleeve t-shirt spring and summer, I would be dying of the heat. So that's why I look forward to fall and winter because I can wear my cozy sweaters, my sweatshirts, my sweatpants, my leggings, just comfy, cozy stuff. For my favorite fall movie, I would have to say and I know that this is so cliche, but it has to go to Hocus Pocus because I grew up with that movie. It's such a fun, cute, adorable movie. There's teen romance in there. There's witches. Sarah Jessica Parker's in it. And it's just a really fun Disney movie. I also really like the movie Suspiria, which is by Argento, an Italian director. It's an Italian horror movie. There's a lot of gore in it, but what is a Halloween movie without gore? But it's a really cool movie. It's about this girl that goes to, I believe, a boarding school and she finds these scary things and these mysteries throughout the school. It's interesting. It's different it's from an Italian perspective. I think it's a really cool movie. It's very artistic. There's a lot of colors and vivid imagery. It's almost like a painting comes to life. So I highly recommend watching Suspiria. If you're under 18 or under 14, I would ask your parents permission, but it's a really cool film. I think it's awesome. And then I recently watched House of Wax, not the 2005 version with Paris Hilton. <laughs> That's a remake. I'm talking about the original 1953 movie with Vincent Price and it's about this guy that creates wax figures for a museum and something happens at the beginning of the movie and he goes and gets revenge and it's really creepy, it's cool, and it's also made in 3D so I recommend watching it with 3D glasses. It's a really fun film and it's enjoyable for all ages. I don't think it's too scary or too gory but it's definitely a fun fall movie. Favorite fall TV show? I have two. So the first one is Gilmore Girls and if you're into the episodes that are, you know, kind of just about fall, start with the third season because that's where I am right now. I've just kind of started watching them again recently and right now I just hit the third season right when it's fall and the way I can tell is because all of these stars hollow town where the characters live is decorated with pumpkins and fall leaves and things like that. So I have this cozy mood of eating blueberry pancakes while watching that show and drinking my spiced pumpkin chai. Just a great combination and I feel so nice and cozy. My second fall favorite TV show has to be Friends. There's something so cozy about that show. I don't know what it is. I guess because it's set in New York, they're in this apartment and it always feels like fall when I watch that show and I tend to watch it in the fall. So that's my second pick, Friends, and then of course the Gilmore Girls. My favorite Thanksgiving food, which is really funny because if you go back and watch my previous fall favorites tags, I think I said mashed potatoes every single time, but I can make mashed potatoes any day of the week, any time of year. The thing I think I've been loving more in Thanksgiving lately is stuffing, and I never really used to, but I've recently tried a new recipe, and it makes stuffing taste so much better. It's creamier, it has more flavor, and it's simply adding a little bit of earth balanced butter. It's not real butter, it's vegan butter, but it tastes delicious, it's plant-based, and it adds just a much creamier vibe to your stuffing. So I think stuffing's my favorite, and I only make stuffing in November. I don't make it any other time of year because then it's not special and that's what I look forward to along with cranberry sauce. I love mixing sweet and salty. That's like my favorite combination. And then the last question is what my favorite Halloween costume is. Last year I did a spider web on my face and I did that the year before as well. But as far as costumes, actually doing an outfit, you know, a whole full on costume, I think it would be 2009. I dressed up as Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I was Holly Golightly and I put on this long black dress. I had my hair pulled back, these gorgeous, really lavish earrings, and then these little kitten heeled pointy toe flats, and then of course the gloves and the little fake cigarette. And that was my absolute favorite Halloween costume. My mom helped me take pictures for my fashion vlog and I staged it in front of the movie theater. I even had a big, like, um, I was actually carrying this when I was taking the pictures of my Halloween costume because I have this hanging in my beauty room right now, so I thought I'd share it with you. Love Audrey Hepburn. I think she's an amazing woman and I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. So that's it guys, we rounded up the questions. There weren't that many, but I thought I would do this video again because you guys are asking if I would. And I enjoy filming anything about fall. As you've noticed, if you've been watching my channel recently, everything has had a fall theme. I did a fall makeup haul. Before this, I have my favorite fall nail polishes coming up, which actually I wanted to mention a sneak peek because it's not going to be in that video. I've narrowed it down to seven polishes. I wanted to mention this one today. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It's from KL Polish and it's from Kathleen Lights here on YouTube. She created her own nail polish line. And this color in particular was from her very, very first launch of polish colors. It's called Brick Sidewalk and it's just that, a very brick looking 
kind of deepened orange. It does remind me of pumpkin pie filling. It's really, really pretty. It matches my sweater nicely and my lips. So I thought I'd mention that today. But if you guys are interested in finding out seven more of my favorite fall-worthy nail polish shades, please stay tuned because I'm hoping to film that next and have that up for you guys, I guess, on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Request anything else you want to see on my channel so I can film that for you guys soon too. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I love you. And until later, bye guys.